Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Mold. So happy to be here with you guys today. It is nighttime right now. I'm recording late, just hanging out. I had a long day. My power went out for like three hours a day. I was so stressed because my phone was at like 5% battery. We were in the middle of a war, etc, etc. But let's go ahead and jump into this thing. So, today, guys, we're in a war and I saw something that I've never seen before. It's some kind of glitch with the king. I wanted to share it with you guys to see if y'all could explain it to me. But let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, so we're gonna go into the war. We're winning right now. I'm not too sure about the outcome of it because we've done 11 more attacks than them and they only need uh, 11 more points. So it's very, very close. A lot of their high level people still haven't attacked, etc., etc. whatever. I've gotten a three star and a one star. I'm number 25 and I attacked their number nine and got a one star on him, uh, so I was happy with that. But let's go ahead and jump into what I wanted to show y'all. So we're gonna go down to war events, guys, and we're gonna go down to when Daniel and my clan attack. So he attacks right, where was it? Right here, now watch this, okay? But, oh wait, never mind. First we have to do this. <laughs> First we have to go to who he attacked, okay? So he attacked, uh, who was it? It was this ninja, ninja guy. All right, so let's go scout this guy's base out. All right, so look at his king, all right? Now help me with this. So his, uh, the king's range stops. Look, it stops right there, even even before the uh, town hall ends. So before the air defense and before the town hall ends and right after that expo, okay? So you see where his range stops, all right? So pay attention to that. That's where his range is. That's his range, okay? He should not go out of it ever. <laughs> he shouldn't be attacking anything outside of his range. Now. Let's go back and watch this. So you guys saw where that was. Let's go back in here to War Events. We're going to go down here where Daniel attacked. And we're going to watch this. Daniel got a three star. He absolutely crushed his base. It's a really, really good attack. Um, you guys can fast forward through this if you want to. Um, but <clears throat> I want to show you all how well he did at the attack as well. So he drops off uh, up towards the top. Tries to pull. Uh, he knew that there were going to be giant bombs there, which was really, really good. I mean, it's pretty obvious. I mean, look how big those gaps are. And it's between two defenses. That's where that's the only place there would be giant bombs and there's there would I would guess there'd be Tesla's in the middle So awesome job of him preparing looking at the base and taking those out now He pulls out the clan castle troops. He's gonna take them out I was a little worried right here to be honest with you I was worried because he hadn't dropped down his poison spell yet or anything like that I was like Daniel. What are you doing? Why aren't you using your poison spell? You've got it. You should just use it He didn't use his poison spell at all but he was able to take out the troops. He's got a level 20 uh, king and a level 15 queen. So he's pretty well upgraded for a town hall 9. Going to come in over here. Uh, now watch. This is where what I was talking about with the king takes place. Okay, so we've got all of our hogs over here doing work. They're working their way around. The king's chasing them. Okay, so the king's still within his range right here. So now there goes a giant bomb right there. Y'all remember where his range was, right? So his range was right here. His range was right at the edge of that. So we're going to keep playing. Watch this. He's going to drop off a heal spell for his hog riders. They're going to come over here, take out the wizard tower. They're going to head back in. Now watch. Here he goes, okay? Here he goes. We know where his range is, all right? We know where his range is. He's almost to his range, guys. He's at his range right uh, now. He's at his range, all right? So that's where his range was. He should be leaving, but watch this. He's going to walk all the way over here, guys. He's still fighting. He's still fighting outside of his range. We saw where his range was. His range was right there where that line is. He's over here still fighting. He Does he jump over the wall? And he's hitting them through the wall. Come on. There. So he finally gives up. Look, he has a question mark above his head way over there. Guys, I don't know what's going on with that, but that's an extra building length. So he has an entire extra building length. It, fin it finished before the air defense, and he walked all the way to the edge of the air defense into that wall and now he's still aggroed right there which is crazy to me so I don't know what happened but Daniel I just got super excited because I've never seen anything like that sorry if I was yelling or anything but Daniel ends up owning this guy's base really 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 good attack by Daniel right there if you're watching this dude congrats that was a sweet hog attack against almost a max town all nine like that was a good base this is a good base right here he drops that down he there's his poison spell just to drop it down on the king and be like, bruh, I just owned you, bruh, check it out. I'm going to drop my poison spell and absolutely just waste it. But it wasn't a waste because it was showing off and saying, hey, I just wrecked you with hogs. So he's still got one, two, three hogs over there. And then one, two, three, four, five hogs. So he's got eight hogs left over, guys, from his attack. They are maxed. 
but Beast. That was a good attack, so that was an awesome three-star by him. He absolutely crushed it. Uh oh, looks like we're getting attacked over here. I can't watch it. They've got 40 stars now. We've still got 49. I don't know how this one's going to turn out. They just got 41, and obviously we can't watch it live right now, but that's okay. Uh, the other team is being ridiculous, and it says... Uh, Mo, let's see how two stars win uh, wins wars works for you now. Everybody blew that out of proportion for anybody that's watching uh, that and has seen that on Twitter. Like everybody who's involved with that, grow up, okay? You guys are blowing something way out of proportion. Uh, it's it's pretty gnarly. It's pretty gnarly how out of proportion it's been blown. But we can go back in here um, and see. So right now our war events, we have seventeen two stars. They have ten. So right now the two stars are winning the wars for both of us so there we go but we're gonna head back to the base guys that was pretty much all i wanted to show y'all let me know if y'all seen that so i talked to the guys in the clan i talked to daniel about it because i was like daniel what the heck is going on why was that king doing that he was like anytime that i attack with hogs the king goes out of his range and follows it until he kills his target i've never heard of that before i didn't know that that was an option you guys let me know if that's true if you guys have noticed it if we need to try and get that fixed because I thought the king's range was the king's range and he would never leave it. That's what I've always thought. Don't know why that happened, but yeah. So we've, we're training up some uh, ballooning right now, guys, to keep pushing. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it. Though. Thank you so much for watching. I'll let you guys know how the war ends or you can just check it out because I know you will. But as always, guys, make sure you keep calm and you clash on and I'll see you all in the next episode. All right, peace.